What's going on guys, Scott the Empower Building Fitness here, back with another commentary over a video. So this is the second um, sort of leg workout of the week you could call it, and um, this consists of deadlifts where the other one we started with squats. So this was the same protocol for uh, the whole week, um, you'll see a pattern as I said. So we had to hit a set of three, so that was the fourth set of three. Then we had to hit another set of three, a set of three plus, um, which is either three reps, uh, no less than three, sorry, no more than five. As I mentioned before, I believe this is was that. No, this is the um, the plus five set. And then we had to hit a heavy single. So I believe uh, the plus five set was right at around 188 kilo i think it was so 190 188 somewhere around there and then yeah this is the plus five set um and then the heavy single was supposed to be 210 but um i didn't feel like i needed to go all the way up to 210 and uh, i didn't want to push myself so i went uh, just to 205 and pulled it quite easily i could have pulled 210 but uh, i was feeling quite taxed the last squats and uh, the other day um, and stuff like that so uh, as you see there it was a nice pull and um, there was a slight rounding in my back and um, you will find that getting up into the, the 90% uh, or so of um, your deadlifts and stuff like that I, I am not as happy um, as the form normally is on my deadlifts so I'm normally a lot more efficient uh, a lot more flatter back but um, the curve wasn't too small and the, the one thing you need to Notice with a deadlift, if you start with a slight curve in your back and you end with that, that's okay. What you don't want is starting with a straight back and then getting in the pull. So if you're maintaining the same position you started with throughout the whole lift, you will be good there. But if you're switching positions from a, a perfect deadlift uh, to a really bad one, that's when you can get in trouble and um, uh, screw shit up and uh, snap city. But uh, yeah, so from there, the accessory is squats. So you can see the pattern last day we done squats and accessory deadlifts. Today we're doing um, deadlifts and accessory squats. So uh, I just put in for uh, two second pause squats and um, three sets of six, so the same rep range as uh, the deadlifts accessories the other day. So uh, yeah, we done 120 kilo, I believe, for three sets of six. And um, a two second pause in the hole or just... Um, I, I wasn't really counting in my head, I was kind of keeping two seconds, they might have been a bit too quick, some of them might have been a, a bit too long, but after doing all that deadlifting, um, I was quite taxed, and these were extremely tough, um, pause squats are, if you've never tried them, extremely taxing, just extremely tough, um, what you can see here is, once again, as I said, I am hitting depth, uh, it's just camera angles, you know, camera angles do really throw it off, but what I'm trying to do here is a lot of people go straight into the hole and like ask the grass and hold a pause squat. And um, I find, especially for powerlifters, if you look in the research, it's a lot more beneficial to just go uh, to depth or load your hamstrings um, a slight bit below, but keep constant tension on your hamstrings. That will actually give you a lot more benefit because, um, well, with me and anyway, I just go slightly below depth. I don't go ask the grass all the time. I go slightly below depth and come back up. So starting in that position and shooting back up actually um, helps me and transfers over to my competition style squat. Um, so yeah, once again for accessories, I just done some hip thrust the other day, you've seen I done some uh, good mornings and as I said, um, I use them as sort of a prehab and a rehab exercise, it really helps my glutes and my lower back. Then we just finished supersetted with leg curls, leg extensions, two calves and then abs, I didn't actually show all them. Um, I just sped up these clips here and shown you a bit of the accessories. So uh, I just want to say thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, I'm going to keep knocking out these videos and showing my training all the way up to the world. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now guys.